So in my last video, I made emphasis on the importance of Muhammad Kudus to the Ghanaian team at the World Cup and fast forward the match later, Kunduz proved me right. Well, this video is not for Kunduz or Ghana, but rather for Cameroon as you can clearly see in the title and thumbnail. I really didn't want to make a video on Cameroon, but after that goal against Serbia and the dismissal of Onana by coach Robert Song, I feel it's appropriate to talk about them. But before we begin, please pause this video, give a brother a like, give a brother a comment, give a brother a sub, please, please, please. It won't really hurt you if you do, but if you don't, it will really hurt me. Like, my life kind of depends on this. So please, like, share, subscribe, comment, engage in this video. Let's get right to it. This channel has always been for the propagation of everything African, both its beauty and its flaws. I praised the Senegalese team and the Ghanaian team because I really thought and knew deep down they are actually capable of doing something spectacular at the World Cup. Well, they actually did because at the time of writing this script, Senegal just qualified for the round of 16 at the expense of Ecuador and hopefully Ghana will do the same either by drawing or winning against Uruguay. But in all sincerity and let's face it, Cameroon can't beat Brazil. <laughs> like, it's just the truth. Like, this is not Saudi Arabia, Argentina. <laughs> Cameroon made the first mistake by losing to Switzerland. They should have at least drawn. Cameroon was supposed to qualify alongside Brazil, but they actually effed up by not winning against Switzerland and drawing against Serbia. Like, that's just the whole truth. Forget about um, Mitrovic, Ivanovic and the rest of the Viches in the Serbian squad. They don't really even stand a chance against Cameroon and that's the fact. But as you always know, the inferiority complex among African players and Africans in general are always feeling inferior to the European teams and the European in general, which is actually not true. Cameroon, despite making their comeback in Serbia, they were actually really good. But you making a comeback against Serbia doesn't mean you could actually do that to a much tactical and talented team like Brazil. You may say anything is possible in football, but the truth is, Cameroon don't have the discipline, the tactical know-how of Saudi Arabia, and that is fact. Like they don't really have the discipline, the strength, the perseverance of the Saudis and that's just the truth. Most especially their fearlessness, they don't really have it and that's just the truth. Even though Onana is no longer in the team based on disciplinary issue and falling out with coach Robert Song, they can't really beat Brazil. They don't stand a chance. This is walk over crying out loud, not a leak up where you fuck up and bounce back after three games. You can't be going into your last match expecting a miracle when you didn't put in work in your first two. Like you have to understand that Senegal are going to the round of 16 because they are going into the round of 16 with 6 points. They lost to Netherlands but they learned from it and they bounced back. Now they are going into this round of 16 with 6 points. Ghana lost to Portugal but now they have 3 points and they are going into their last game with that same 3 points and hopefully they win or draw. But Cameroon are going into their last game with one point, hoping for a miracle as if God doesn't love Costa Rica that ended up getting 7-0 from Spain. Well, you have to understand that God is saving lives in different parts of the world and if he's supporting a team in the World Cup, it will definitely not be Cameroon and that's fact and I'm sorry I'm being harsh but that's just the truth. Well. In conclusion, and in all honesty, anything is possible in the game of football, and that's fact. But also in reality, Cameroon can be Brazil, and that's also fact. I feel most people actually think it's possible based on the performance of Vicente Abubakar, and oh boy, Vicente Abubakar came true for Cameroon. He did something spectacular, oh my god, like he was actually, actually very, very amazing alongside Chupan Moting and the team was really amazing but he reignited something, he reignited the passion and he was really really great. Big ups to Vicente Abubaka. And I really hope you liked this video and please like I said earlier before, it will hurt you to like, comment, engage, subscribe. But it really hurts me if you don't. Like 
technically really affect this channel if you don't like this video subscribe and engage like seriously speaking like my life depends on it like i'm with you but please like i said like pause this video like share let's try and check whether we could reach 100 sub with this video i will really love it thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much peace out see you in the next video love you guys